if Hamas were to accept Israel's right to exist in internationally recognized borders and forswears continuing violence, would Israel then accept Hamas as part of a Palestinian unity government? Whatever Hamas says today, whatever they do is uh, too late. Too uh, late. They had the opportunity for 36 years to recognize Israel's right to exist, and Israel tried uh, many times to negotiate with Hamas. And the condition was very clear, that you drop your violence, and then after that we are able to sit on the negotiating table. But Hamas refused to accept Israel's right to exist in principle. So if Hamas comes today, after October 7, after destroying Gaza, after the using Gazans as human shields, this is a crime. Even if Israel forgives this crime, I will never forgive Hamas for killing and sacrificing Gaza children for their political gain. Okay. Number one, uh, Hamas has accepted the ceasefire. Israel hasn't. So uh, Israel has killed way more than Hamas has. So under that logic, again, oh, we can never talk to Israel. What an absurd way to think. Uh, second of all, like, how do I address the fact that you say, okay, I don't want to negotiate with my enemies. I'd like to negotiate with what? Puff the magic dragon and Norway. Well, who are we negotiating with? We're not negotiating with our enemies.